Hey guys, this is uh, Style and Lager's podcast. I'm your host for today, uh, Lager. Uh, joining me today is the lovely and beautiful and sexy Stout. <laughs> yes, sir. Um, episode three. Let's fucking go. Episode three. Yeah. Today we were kind of like taking a seat back and catch up on life. We kind of like took a little break in our lives and uh, we got some new beers to talk about and yep. other stuff uh, while we we're talking about that. Uh, so, yeah, it's been like what? Two weeks almost out <laughs> since we talked to each other. Yeah, about. I think. Uh, what you've been doing? Yeah. A little bit less than two weeks. I think like a day less, but I've been chilling, been vibing. Yeah. Um, the weekend after we recorded last episode, which was the second episode, um, we had a friend come over and visit us. Oh, yeah. Whiskey, or your boy Whiskey, you know him. Um, oh yeah. We did a lot. Hey, did you know? Do you know that uh, it's his birthday today? I do. I, do. I, I texted ta- him earlier. Also, I, I haven't, I haven't started. I haven't opened it yet. But oh shit! Well, That's this beer just spit all over me. Oh, dude, what are you, what are you, what are you, what are you getting? I am drinking an Irish Death. <sighs> Sticking to my stouts, you know. It's a sick um, because because you're ta- you're you're telling me that you haven't found the flagship one for you. Yeah, I just have a bunch of beers that I end up spilling. God, oh my God! Dude. I... Maybe, maybe it's the God of the beers is like frowning on you. <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe I, like... I'm not meant to drink stouts, but yeah, like I was telling you, <laughs> I do not know my flagship beer yet. I know that I like stouts, but I haven't found the stout yet that is uh, my go-to. Like you are with your your Coronas. I love um, Coronas. It's main main bitch since day one. Yeah. yeah. Um. So yeah, so you tell me that we, our friend, mutual friend, whiskey, our birthday whiskey, came to visit. Correct. Yeah. So oh, yeah. So sad. it was pretty fun. He came last Thursday, two Thursdays ago, actually. Crazy. So he came two Thursdays ago, um, and then we chilled on Friday. We went to the city, took him around, did the touristy stuff. You know the usual. The, the tourists were of that city. <laughs> I always say your city. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The, the the main stuff. Yeah, <laughs> took him to the market, walked around to some parks, and then we met up with uh, the homies that live in the city. Homies, yeah. Yeah, we <laughs> it was we we went kind of we went pretty late. Like we went to like at like eleven. Usually we leave early, but he was like, yeah, we could take a chill. So we left at like eleven, did all that, and then we went to two breweries. Eleven's, eleven's late. Yeah, I feel like we usually when yeah. we have people here, we usually take them really early. You guys are wild. They're like eleven. I'm like I'm still sleeping. <laughs> this dude, I wake up at five yeah, that, for work, so that's late for me. That's yeah, like yeah. almost my full work day. <laughs> so you're like sleeping, sketch like clog is completely destroyed. Yeah. Like, am I gonna expect you to be out and about in a cruise? Yeah, at five a.m. We're gonna be out and about <laughs> forever, bro. I guess that's true. Um, yeah. So uh, so yeah. So what else do you guys do? The breweries. <sighs> Had a nice sip. So yeah, we, we went to um two breweries. Um uh what, what else? What else? What else? So yeah, we went to two breweries. One of them was in the north area. Oh bloop blop <laughs> in the north area, <laughs> north north part of the city. And the other one was in where the homies live, where we usually go to party. And in that one they actually opened up a pizzeria inside, which is really good. It was um they had Detroit style pizzas. And it was like, um, what's it called? It was like Asian style pizza. So it was really good. Really, really good. And then from there, we went uh, to another brewery. Mm-hmm. And we went to um, the Drop Shot place. Drop Shot. I don't Check know if you remember that, that place. Top. No. The, uh, the record shop. No, no the Unicorn. Well, it's Unicorn. It's called Unicorn. Yeah, Unicorn is not. What? Do you not know that place? I do know that place. Oh, I thought you were gonna... <laughs> no, I remember. Yeah, yeah. No. So we went there and we had a couple of drinks there. And at that they're, point, it was already pretty late. Drinks too, right? Yeah, we had um the drop shot, the no cone, I think it's called, and then we had a uh, another one, and we just chilled there. And then I think we just went home. We talked. We That's sat there talking night? for a while. Yeah, that was that was Friday. That was still the first night. Um, Damn, I thought it was Saturday. Mm. Saturday we then. Do yes, Saturday. did that. Saturday we, wo- we woke up pretty chill because we stayed out kind of mm-hmm. late. 
I'll have like out two or something, one, two. So it's not super late, but the city closes super early here, so we kind of Is run out really? of things to do. Yeah, I mean, around two, everything's already closing. 2 a.m.? Yeah. So we left oh, a little okay. bit earlier. But That's early? Oh, yeah. That's kinda... Is it 2 a.m. like normal? Normal? Like... I mean, if clubs stayed open more than that, yeah. But, oh, I'm forgetting a huge thing. So we went to the first brewery. Um, do you remember where we played the card game for uh, Soju's birthday? <laughs> okay, well, we went Wait, to... that was Soju. You don't remember Soju's when you came for Soju's birthday and we went to a brewery and we were there and you got food from the food truck. Yeah. God, wait, what? It's called Freaking Optimism. Card game. What, what was the card game? Though? It was the, the numbers one. Where we played with her co-worker, the homies that live there, and Yumi and, and, and Sour. Her co-worker? God, I don't remember. What card game? Okay, well, it was it was Optimism. I'm sure if you look it up and you... you what card game was that? It what? was the one where it's like the person who is uh, most likely to fall asleep by nine. Oh, you talking about boarding game? Yeah, something like that. Well, we went to that one. We went to that one, and we were there for a while, okay. just catching up because they hadn't seen whiskey since like college, so it was a while for That's them. True. So they were just catching up, and then from there we were gonna go to Unicorn. But before we got to Unicorn, we were so, walking so this... around. Uh huh. Okay. We were so walking. Like... <laughs> we're walking. Walking where? <laughs> we're walking. Sorry, man. This no, is so you're crazy. crazy. We were walking to <laughs> Unicorn. And we uh, passed by the place that has like metal concerts. Was having a fucking Disney night, and Soju and Sour were like, "Bruh, let's go. We gotta go. We gotta go in." Yes, pour one out for me. We we did. We we went in. And we we're like, well, so yeah. I think for the most part, half of the group was like, "Yeah, why not?" And then the other half was like, "We need to go in." So we just we went in, um, and we went in. We got a green tea shot and a beer. And I'm yeah. a little upset that the most lit I've seen a club in in this city is fucking Disney night. Of course, man. <laughs> it was the most like our generation thing I've seen. How do you did not feel represented though? So I think I they had like so they had like Yourself. Disney music, right? So it was I think it was mainly high school musical night. Um but they were only playing yeah, stuff from like brothers. high school musical too. Um not the first one? No. So, like, that that's oh. what they mainly played. And they played um the baseball song. And they had these two people that came on. They, like, were, like, dancing to it. It was pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Like, but that's like, it, was, it was a good time, but I think I would have liked more variety. Like, they played, like, one Jonas Brothers song, I think. They played... Um, oh, the sucker one, right? Yeah, they were played, um, like, Miley Cyrus. They played the Wizards of Waverly Place song. Like, they played certain stuff, but they I think they mainly stuck with it. I think it was because it was... Um, high school musical night, but yeah. it was still fun. And then from there, you went to Unicorn, and at that point, it was already late. So we were like, Yeah, let's just dip. Everyone was already tired. Did anybody get lit lit? I don't think so. I think everyone was pretty chill. Uh, are you sure? I think, actually, I think the whole city homies were a little more lit than like but you than we you were, guys. yeah. Because you know, whiskey's you not like super whiskey. drinking drinker. That's not well. Not wrong. Yeah, it's it's it definitely vibes. It definitely vibes. So. Yeah. Um, yeah. That was the first night, and then the second night we went to a museum. And we got Korean barbecue, I think. The same, the usual place. Yeah. I don't think we've taken you to this place. It's a all-you-can-eat place. So it was pretty good. And then the last yeah. day, we. What did we do the last day? Oh, the last day mm. we went to a whiskey distillery and we got brunch. Nice. I guess really living up to his name. <laughs> yeah, we we had to take him. We had to take him. Um, and it was like it, it was a. Is he a, is he aware of his name? Uh, I don't think so. I don't know. He, he just know. We just call him what he likes. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's either whiskey oh, or old man. fashioned. I feel like that. I feel like he'll probably get old fashioned. But yeah, that was pretty much it for the week before this past one, and then yeah, this past one pretty chill during the week, and then this past weekend I just toured a bunch of apartments on saturday 
And oh, yeah, because you're looking for a new yeah, place. Yeah, just played soccer on Sunday and just chilled. Mr. Leon Manny, Messi. Leon Sir... Messi, that's what you are. Are you a striker or are you like a defend person? Defense well, I want to play forward and like wingers, so mainly on the attacking side, but yeah. my team did not. No one on my team wanted to play defense, so I played defense and wing wingers for half of the game, and it was stressful. Yeah. I was doing okay. That I was saying that I was doing well on defense, but I don't. I don't like defense. It stresses me out. I feel like no one wants to do defense. Yeah, <laughs> I guess it's just like, but I don't. Know, I feel like you're just more genuine saying like it. it Stefan does stress stress you out. Like some other people, they just want to like have the glory of kicking the goals and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Um, for me, last weekend, not this weekend, last, the, the one before, I went to that wedding for wine, dude. How was that? How was that? Yeah, it was crazy. It was, uh, well, not, it wasn't that crazy. Well, it might have been crazy, actually. Um, so I went, it, it was in the wine country of the state that we were living in. Mm-hmm. Um, so I rented a car. I had to rent the car to, to go there. And so I drove my car. I got a gray gray suit, like kind of like a very light gray suit. Mm-hmm. I think to show you a picture of it, style because like I think you might actually like it for. I would I would recommend it for if you want to like if you want that shade of gray for our wedding. Mm-hmm. I say our wedding, <laughs> 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 our wedding. Anyway, um, so I went there. I changed my. I would change to my suit in the bathroom of the reception hall Let's because go. I I didn't, I don't know, I, I did not want to drive in the suit. And the thing is, I thought, I thought to my understanding of what this wine dude told me, that he was going to like, tell, he told me to like get there early and then he can like tell me where I can park to be close to where, you know, they were staying at. Mm-hmm. Like, in because the, in, it's just, it's a ranch. It's a look. It's like they're they're getting married in a ranch, so like mm-hmm. they have a bunch of space of like there's this a you know man like little like I don't know like almost a big house ish mansion mm-hmm. to like put all the you know bridal bridal party a yeah, mm-hmm. family essentially yeah family gotcha. and after and then and they drive a ways there's some cabins and then drive more and then there's chapel with the reception hall. All together, mm-hmm. and all that stuff. So it's like it's a big property for that, and like he was gonna help me to go and ch- get change over there, but I think they just got the whole wedding thing where it's like you just have to uh, watch my card. Everything is r- 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 right against schedule. Like mm-hmm. there's like you know being late and all that stuff. So like I think they just got backed up. With the whole schedule of the whole wedding, trying to get prepared for. So like, she just told me to like, I oh, just go to the reception hall and just change in the bathroom. Nice. So I was there, and people people were getting in the bathroom. It was it's a clean bathroom at the very least, but it's just like I could hear them going in and out. The guy, it's like I'm, I'm here trying to put on my suit as quick as possible. Um, but then like after that. It was a beautiful place, though, you know, very beautiful. The chapel, though, it had two specific sides. So, like, you, when, when you think about wedding ceremony, how do you think of splitting people? Because you have two, two files, two areas. How would you be splitting that up? I South. guess I haven't thought about... The reception, or no, not the reception, the the ceremony. ceremony. I haven't yeah. really thought about a seating chart for the ceremony, but I, I yeah, mean, there's no. I'd they, assume they that like have one. Yeah, I assume people just kind of go in with like I feel like it will end up being like probably maybe one family on one side and one family on the other just because people sit next to people they know. Yeah, but I'm not sure. For, until until you get to like where the friends are. Mm-hmm. Um, this ended up being. I I asked the, the the mother of the groom because I I I can't hear her. Mm-hmm. and she's like oh you said anywhere but there was a clearly area where people are avoiding this chapel it wasn't a closed chapel it had 
It was actually a chapel with a roof, but with columns instead of walls on the side. So, it, which led the light in. So there's a area with shade, and there's an area with all the light, <laughs> with all the sun rays beating down. And that was how it was kind of like, like everyone who was late gets the 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 the, the sun rays, and it was the hottest thing I've ever I've ever sat through. <laughs> it was just like beating me down, and I was wearing a three piece out, three piece mm. gray suit, That's and I nice. think I was in. You were pissed I think up. I was, I know I was. I got it from Ben's warehouse, and like hell yeah, I rented it, and God, it was so hot though. <laughs> um, no, um, I hope this would be a little cooler for. My wedding. I'm hoping. I'm sure, hoping. it will be a lot more than where that was, and I, I hold I hold the weather with the weather hostage, because I need it to be cold. Stout. I cannot sweat through my <laughs> suit again. <laughs> Um, to be fair, at least I I I get a heart a haircut, so you really couldn't tell I was sweating that much. That's good. I felt like at least mm-hmm. one thing I noticed though, it's like <laughs> it's that uh, what you call it? You keep they kept they, they, we're there waiting that the um, they have a string quartet playing music, and after a while they stopped, and that told us okay, are they coming? So then all of us turn back <laughs> to the door. Nothing's happening. And so we wait there. So it, it, it became a whole game of just looking back or not. Looking back or not. Like to check whether they're coming or not. <laughs> they had a and string string quartet. That's bougie as hell, bro. They were. They were, they were playing um, uh, Re- uh, One Republic songs. Oh, that's and pretty like, cool. Yeah, they, they actually came in with Secrets. That's the name of the song in my republic. It was it was beautiful, you know. It was beautiful. It, it is bougie though. Uh, they definitely put some money in. The parents definitely did. Um, no, but it was just so funny because like we just kept looking back, and I'm like, at this point, it's like I'm just going to just stare at the front. I'm not gonna be one of those fools like just keep looking back <laughs> to try to see her, mm-hmm. and just like because I don't know, it just it just feels like first of all uncomfortable mm-hmm. putting your head all the way back. Yeah, you know? uh, and I don't know. I just just watching a a closed door, or or actually it was not closed. Actually, it was open, and they're just there, waiting, uh, just waiting for the songs to to go. And I'm just like, uh, this feels awkward. I don't know. <laughs> I bet you, brother. But no, but but, mm-hmm. but but it was a close ceremony though. Like they they apparently they, I think they didn't do the bows. The, the real bows they did like the the ones that you repeat from the efficient mm-hmm. they did that to be to be quicker and i feel like they didn't want to do the actual bows in front of everybody yeah i think that's what we're gonna do i think we're gonna do our our vows like together and then probably just do that but this yeah, you're not gonna get anybody crying though style like that's fake that's, that's okay not, the, point of the wedding to get people to cry well they'll cry when they this... see how how pretty we look and how good we look i mean sure yeah you know, the only one i saw crying really was 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 her mom the bride's yeah. mom i feel like the family especially immediate family it won't take much to make them cry but like i don't know i mean the, i mean i mean you saw uh my brother's wedding yeah it was nice like that that made them doing the bows made people cry. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Hell, hell yeah, it made them cry. It's just crazy. I don't know. I, I, I live for this moment, man. Getting to getting people to cry, man. It's yeah, I mean, you like making people cry. Hell yeah! Like it's like, oh yeah. Of course, it'd be happy tears. Of course, not sad tears, but it would be happy tears, especially like. Hey, I want to get people to cry at your wedding, so I'm I'm really I'm 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 gonna hype up my 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 speech, man. Also, Before one thing, one else, one, one, one something else. They they did the speeches, the the best man, the main the main honor, and then the dad. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know how you feel about this, but like I don't like because they they literally read it from their phones. 
and I don't know. I feel like it's, I wouldn't like to do that. I feel like for me, I would like to practice my speech and then wing it a little bit. I mean, is so that, that what you do with your know. brother? Kind of. Cause I don't want to be keep looking back and reading from something. It just feels like you're you're losing a lot of the emotion when you're like doing a speech like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's just, fair. It's not as organic. It's the word of yeah, the day. Like, organic. Get, organic <laughs> uh, you know it, it's, it's, it, that's what they just did they're like they're really like ta 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 look up ta 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 look up and that's it I don't know it just I really want when I do my speeches I like I practice the bullet point and just get through it I might sound awkward sometimes but I feel like I can it connects more yeah mm-hmm. to to the to the people yeah people being people who I want to may cry you know um, the wedding is crazy though like i want i don't know i just didn't like the whole speech reading mm-hmm. but besides that um the whole thing was cool though like uh i guess sit with the uh, quote-unquote artist of the ta- of the wedding i guess <laughs> what does that mean they, like have someone know, painting yeah. their freaking wedding no I think he essentially just um, the wine dude's wife. She she used to be in the band, and that was essentially the table where they put the her bandmates. Interesting. And I say and I also say former band, to be honest, because like they don't play anymore. <laughs> oh, and they also they also put like the guy who was ed- who was editing for her for her company. Like adding videos and stuff, so they put her that and put this up uh, this other dude. Um, it was like it was a former football player for the Kansas City Kansas City Chiefs. What the heck? Like it was like I think it was like a backup person though. It was I mean, like they still get paid bank to just sit on the bench. So <laughs> uh, that's true. Good, it's a good job. Uh, to have. It's funny that they put him with us because he is someone who. <laughs> He really is an artist with his words. He wants to be. He really likes to like write, read, and all that stuff. Um, it was so funny. Like, oh yeah, I I I, I knew him too. So like, it, it was cool to sit sit with them. Do you want to know what their drinks were? When you're, you're well, like their them? signature drinks. Yeah, because they did signature drinks. They what did. was it? What was it? You can you guess? Um, I'm assuming like a whiskey sour. You're not. You're close. Okay. Okay. With, with that, with for his, for his. And then, I'm a little bit more lost with her, but I'd say like some wine. I feel like that's that's, that's yeah. a safe answer. I'm gonna tell you. That, okay, I'm gonna put the the um, wines out of it. Don't don't okay. think about no wine. beer so wine because big cocktails. Less, uh, yeah, only cocktails because like they they did their own also. There's there also a different wine beer menu. <laughs> okay. This is like their cock tar- her his or her cocktails. Um well, something that girls like. <laughs> I don't know. I just think it was like Okay, I'll stop you there. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I just uh, thought of like a fruity drink. Spi- spicy Marg. Spicy Mark. Mark was my option. Second option. That's that's fair. I think margarita is like if that is really more of a woman drink than not margarita. necessarily a woman drink. I was just or thinking like of like a, a whiskey drink. It's probably like you know it's more more of like a sipping drink. Maybe like having a, yeah. a sweet drink as well. So yeah, spice. It was a spicy Mark for her. That like a jalapeno in there that you could put some tahini as well. It was really good. I really like her spicy Mark. Um, you can really feel like the the jalapeno taste in the in the mark. What he got was what he calls or what it was called a Texas mule. Mm, Texas mule. That's fair. You, know, you know what? You know what that is? It's just a Moscow mule, I guess. With uh, what's it called? I don't know if the ginger beer is still a thing, but I know there's like a bunch of different types of mules, and they just change out the alcohol. Just with whiskey, yeah. a meal with whiskey. It's whiskey, it's whiskey, and it's ginger beer too. He, he, he was getting really into it, and like he would make it at home. And uh, Texas mule is just weird, like because the whole point of the Moscow meal is that they use vodka, which is a very tasteless, mm-hmm. 
alcohol. So you really only maybe drinking really the the ginger, the lime, and all that stuff, right? And not really the alcohol. With the Tex Mule, you're you're really tasting the the whiskey, yeah. And also, I feel like the one the way they're making it, it really didn't feel very uh, it felt flat, yeah. It didn't feel like there's much gas or soda in there from the ginger. I was beer. gonna say, I feel like whiskey is probably one of the more like strong tasting alcohols. I feel they like are, yeah, you need to have you either need to have a lot of. The mixers to cover that taste which doesn't really go away or just enjoy the taste of whiskey to enjoy that drink because yeah because i think the thing is i think you you can win in cocktails inside it in, that like you make the taste of whiskey enjoyable i feel like that's the criteria really more mm-hmm. than masking it i think it's yeah, like yeah, that's fair like get get into a way that that makes the actual person drinking it like the taste of whiskey or, because there's definitely some whiskey drinks that I think uh, they're very pleasant. This is probably one of them, but I think the way they were making it was very whiskey forward. Mm-hmm. They did, they did an hour drink as well, stout, and so they're uh, his cocktail, her cocktail, and then an hour cocktail. Cute. With the, our cocktail was ex- an espresso martini. I was like. It was really good. The Express Martini was my favorite. Express <laughs> Martinis are fire. It was good because it was like, it really got people to like, I guess, I don't know. Some people got really drunk. <laughs> That's typically happens at weddings, yeah. <laughs> but I didn't get drunk. <laughs> I, really didn't, I really didn't get drunk, actually. Good. I don't know. Well, I guess, fair, I, 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 mm-hmm. Go for it. No, I was just saying, I said that's good, but I guess it depends on what you consider good. <laughs> The thing is, uh, the party part of it, because, like, we say sitting, like, once we get to the reception, there, oh, my God, there's a cocktail hour style, and the line for it was huge. Literally, after the reception was over, like, to, you, told, like you can go back to where the reception is. Like, like they told us to go to this little gazebo area-ish. Mm-hmm. That's like right next to the reception. They told us like go there to to grab our cocktail hour things, and you can guess literally everyone in the reception <laughs> goes, follows the line, and it stops at that cocktail, and it was just the longest line to get drinks I've ever seen. The people were uh, the bartenders were working overtime. Sounds like it was a pretty big but, wedding then. Oh well, man, well, I feel like one twenty. 40 people almost i'm pretty sure that's wild. way more than my brother no yeah probably way more yeah. than ours is gonna be too I feel like ours is gonna be closer to good. your your brother's size i feel that's fine i feel like i feel like the the, the less people the more we drink <laughs> yeah, nice. that's um, what I, think about it. I feel like it's just more intimate i don't know i don't it is i know that many people oh bleep. <laughs> i don't think sour and i know that many people too uh stout you <laughs> You're you're the reason why I have a job. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> okay, sorry, <laughs> I gotta say that. But um, no, yeah, I feel, I feel like I, I would rather not not to say like the I feel like more than intimate weddings. I think yeah. I think the bigger it is, it feels it feels like a club or like you know a bar where it's just like random people. Because especially when coming from someone who was just random and technically a random technically mm-hmm. but like i barely knew anybody yeah yeah and it was just like you know um i found that like they barely played what you what do you expect them playing can you guess a song that they played sweet caroline <laughs> i'm trying to remember thank you if they actually did or not <laughs> <laughs> I I there's a pretty high I, chance I, <laughs> no, because I'm trying to think. I'm pretty sure they didn't actually, Aww. which is like the crazy thing, uh, <laughs> like that they did it. Uh, what, what, what? Well, never mind. Give me another chance. That's what Caroline. Like, think, think, think. White people, popular music at bars, or like throwback, maybe throwback. White people no throwback. 
I mean, I feel like they cool. have to put like, like dance ones, like the what's it called, the Cha Cha Slide. No, they didn't. They didn't. They put some line dance and shit. They did do a two step part. <laughs> the thing is though, the two just the two te- the two step people were very impressive. The people that actually knew how to dance the two steps. They also played a episode of like salsa, like they put two or three songs of salsa. They put any Spanish music besides that? No, that's it. Yeah. So just salsa, be- because because her side is half like Colombian. Uh huh. I didn't really get. To- talk to those people i wish though I, like i think i just felt so awkward being then like I, I i'm grateful for their invitation right mm-hmm. but it still felt like awkward to talk to people i don't know yeah i feel like it's and, weird it's it's hard with, with such a big wedding and especially when you you're really just like friends of the the groom and the, the bride like yeah, unless you're really, like really integrated in their lives, you don't really meet that many people that are gonna be no, coming. I've, in. Yeah, I've only met really. I met four friends. No, five friends, I guess now. Yeah, five friends. Oh, dude, five friends, and then like the groom's mom, the bride's the groom's. I, I'm, I'm, I connect way better with the groom's mom than I ever did with like the bride's. Uh, dad or mom to be fair i only met the dad the dad and mom of the bride like one time so but it's just i don't know i feel like the groom's mom i'm bleeping um she is really cool she's like i don't know i I thought she was really cool she's like she she really likes her her wine she's really funny so we have a lot of fun together but uh i was gonna say dude so so this this is the wedding I told you about the fantasy football, right? Mm-hmm. League that, that I did uh, before. Yeah. Um, literally, I was... Every time I met someone who was from that league or knew someone from that league, you're like, oh, dude, yeah, you're the you're the guy that won it, hmm. right? You're the one that won that fantasy football? Like, yeah, I did. And then... um, But then something else is mentioned that's like... Oh, did you like have help for the drafting thing? I was like, <laughs> yeah, I did. Yeah, right. I did. But the thing, I, 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 here's my disclaimer: my team looked nothing alike by the end of it, except for Eckler and Goddard. I just want to say that to people. <laughs> I don't know. It, the thing, it felt like, I almost felt like a, I don't know, attacking. Like I felt like I didn't, I didn't need to defend myself from that but it, you, you know, still want at the end of the day yeah you got help at the beginning and that was pretty much it so yeah i mean the thing a lot of, I, I, a lot of people were doing it for the first time too so i don't know it was just like your league was I weird i do feel i don't huh? know I, I felt like when i'd like see what what you would be going up against or like hearing you talk about like waiver wires i was like i don't know what's going on yeah. Oh, me talking about waiver or the no, like the just hearing what's going on in your league. Oh yeah, like, be like, like yeah, oh, people are... people had like three tight ends on the bench, and I'm like, what? That's true. That that's true. Yeah, because like I was at a point without tight ends, even though I had two good tight ends. One of them, I one of them, I traded away right before he got hurt, and the other one got hurt like three weeks later, and after that, I was like. Trying to like an endless, endless search for like my backup, my third backup tight end, but and I want like you said like there are three tight ends in the bench. It's just like what the hell, like you know, all the tight ends I could have gotten, but I still won. But anyway, no, it out. It was fun, but um, at some point, they they play Mister Brightside. That that's bro. I should have like, thought of that. That's the, like the the one thing that should have came to my mind. <laughs> I know, right? I'm like, I can't believe that didn't go. I was literally in the bathroom, and I heard it. I'm like, okay, I need to go. That's like my bad signal. <laughs> You're being called like, into the team. Dude, literally, I, I walked out. I washed my hands, and I, I, I started singing in my head. And then I walked past where they had a photo booth area. And this girl was manning the photo booth area. It's like, she looked at me like she was like, hell yeah. <laughs> Cause we were both reacting to the to the song. 
Yeah. <laughs> no, it was it was lit. It, it it was fun. It just I just wish I feel like I just wish I knew more people there to like be more integrated. I was able to try my best like get integrated, but it's always an uphill battle or like and also I felt like I couldn't really talk to the bride and groom because I felt like that had already so many people there to talk to them, to like to like get their attention. So I felt like I couldn't really, yeah. No, yeah, I, I feel like to it's just hard to talk to the the couple because they have yeah, so many people. Pretty much everyone yeah. there is trying to talk to them. <laughs> yeah, they, yeah, they could talk it's... to you for like a moment, but like, yeah, it's hard. Yeah, this and. To be fair with my brother, sweaty, I didn't really need to talk to, the, to my brother. It was like for him, for his stuff, and I'm hoping for me yours. It is because like, I knew so many other people. Mm-hmm. So if I, so I felt like you know, just like go jump between tables and stuff like that. I don't know. Yeah. This one, it just didn't feel like right to be able to move. So I think it really does depend if how many people you know to like make a wedding more fun or more readily fun for you because you really need to put some work to be able to like i don't know have connect with the other people because yeah. i don't know the small talk will always be like oh how do you know the bride or groom oh you do this oh i do this i do this and that but you do that okay i don't know <laughs> it's, yeah, it's like it's like npc level <laughs> yeah it's, it's just like basic combos uh, you know, it's something I wish people would do, would have done. Shots. Mm, I like, I no like, shots? It was too classy for that. Maybe. They had a lot of wine. Like, people drank a lot of wine, actually. And people got drunk of wine from that. Apparently, wine is pretty ate. strong. It's looking yeah, a little it slept is, on. I don't know. It just feels like... I was just mainly focusing on the cocktails. I didn't really drink the wines that much good i got a Dude, question for you though what what did the italian who invented alzheimer's say cool what the italian who invented alzheimer's what did he say who the italian who invented alzheimer's yo dude i'm <laughs> i'm i'm faking being on alzheimer's oh like, my who? gosh this guy no that's not what he said you want to know what he said um are you my granddaughter? No, he said, forget about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I am so mad. Forget about it. <laughs> I don't know where I saw that, but I wanted to I wanted to say it. I think I think Myra might have said it. Do you know who Myra is? No. My right yeah, not! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta, had to get you, you with a two-piece. Yeah, I, I, pr- think you I probably peaked very hard. <laughs> Do you need to control your weakness? <laughs> nah, bro. All um, gas, no brakes. No gas? Oh my gosh. Yeah, so like, those, I don't know. There's a lot more stuff. Like, apparently someone threw up in one of the cabins. Oh man, that's not good. The thing I is, like, a better wedding. I hope so. But, like, no, well, it was funny. Hmm. One dude told me, like, to, to chill. Oh. And I'm pretty sure I was one of the more chill people <laughs> in this wedding. <laughs> um,. I don't know. There's this guy. <sighs> Never mind. I don't want to talk about it. Um, the. No, it's just really funny because I, I noticed this guy was really hot. Well, was really getting close to drunk. He kept drinking wine and stuff like that. Oh. And they were going to do like an after party. But at that point, I already kind of like sobered up so I could drive back. Yeah. So, yeah. so I, I think I escaped. Dealing with another drunk person that drunk that that that, that throws up <laughs> because that was the, bullet the guy that yeah the guy that was that, that throw up would have been was was in the cabin that that I was offered to sleep in the floor for yeah, and like I'm thrown up on potentially <laughs> to be fair he did in the sink but it's still like it's oh, a whole that's, ordeal that's it's tough. like I'm happy to have come back to my house at one a.m. sleep. And chill out. <laughs> yeah, because then you wake up um, the next day. You might be a little hungover if you went too hard. Then you have to drive back. Yeah, it's like yeah. A, it takes a lot of time in the morning. 
Mm-hmm. And the thing is, this, I was gonna stay there originally for a brunch, but but like, like the wine dude said, like he it ended up being does the same thing of like he had to say goodbye to like seventy people. So it was just gonna be like the same thing where it's like everyone was trying to buy for time with the bride and groom, and I don't know. It feels it's great to have a big wedding, but it just feels so dependent on you when you invite so many people who don't know each other. Yeah, it really does feels like you're the only connecting factor. It feels I think way nicer, feels way better when it is more intimate wedding like like yours or my brother were like i don't know like like you even knew people at i mm-hmm. believe <laughs> and, uh, it looks yeah. like you're giving yourself some work now huh you talking shit <laughs> <laughs> fuck you oh <laughs> uh, dude I, I haven't told you that, that my brother w- watched this and he thought that we were bleeping the car words. <laughs> no, yeah, we're just bleeping sensitive <laughs> info. But maybe you want that. Maybe you want that sensitive info. Maybe you want uh, some videos. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe, you know, let us know in the comments if you want that type of stuff. And maybe, maybe we'll look into maybe, it. Maybe one day we'll do like a personal podcast for our face blurred. Maybe we could do like a Patreon, <laughs> have videos, <laughs> That's everything true, bl- unbleeped. We'll see, you we'll gotta see. pay for our personal information. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. So, so yeah. Uh, great beer of the week. Uh, beer, today, beer, beer, uh, beer. You want to explain to our viewers about beer of the week to those who don't know? Yeah, so if you missed last week, um, basically kind of like a, a new reoccurring mm-hmm. segment that we're going to be going over where we talk about the exploratory beer that we grab of the week. Um, last week, I think we had two Paul honors, so we had a, a Paul in our special episode, pretty much. But this week, we're focusing on red ales, or amber ales, pretty much. So this week, I am going to be sipping on Smith Wicks and Sons Ireland Irish Red Ale. It's, okay. a, it's a pretty good beer so far. I've been enjoying it. What are you sipping yeah, on? We, I'm sipping on... So the reason why I chose this, uh, I, I chose the Yingling. The flagship beer of the England beer breweries. Uh, it's like a, the original amber beer. It's red as well. And yeah, like it's kind of like dear, not dear in my heart, but it's like I would choose it because I moved to the place to the motherland. And Is in the really motherland, there? there's a brewery of England. And mm-hmm. it's kind of like I, we always drive past it whenever we go to the mother, like where we, we met. To our college, we we met we met in college, right? And yeah, There's the England, right the orig- yeah original amber beer. I'm drinking it now. Cheers, man! Cheers, Click. cheers. yes, yes. So, but like what I was saying, I I got so the the other beer that I was drinking on, which is yeah. a like I said, I don't have a, a beer that I always sip on for stouts, but this one's called an Irish Dev, and it's a can, um, and it's a twelve yeah. ounce can. So it's like the the normal size cans, and I was like, oh, like it looks so small, blah blah blah, and I was like, yeah, like a bottle looks so much taller. Apparently, bottles are twelve ounces, and this one's an eleven point two ounce. So I got ripped off. Where's my point eight ounces? Point eight, point eight. He says, that's what. That's like, in a six pack. To be fair, I feel like the polliner I had before. I think that 56? was twelve ounce either. Sixty four. I'm tripping. I don't know. I don't feel like doing math. But the, no, the last week the beers that I had were the tall boys, so it was sixteen ounce ones. So that's why I don't know. Yeah. I guess maybe maybe I associated that one with being sixteen ounces, and I was like, yeah, beers are sixteen ounces. But yeah, yeah, a little tidbit on that. Wow. Yeah, so we we already had one of these. So this is the second one that we're sipping on. So I think we've had enough of the taste to give some ratings. So, so well, Walker, what do you think? How, do you how think? would you how, how would you describe your taste though? Yeah, so mine is a red so ale. So I'm assuming it's a little bit different than a red than an amber ale. Uh, it's an Irish mm-hmm. red ale. Um, it's pretty smooth. Let me see. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna t- give it give it a taste test and tell you what I'm what I'm what I'm tasting. Do some like ASMR. I feel like it's it's pretty crisp. It goes down smooth. Yeah. And I feel like I have like some notes that I would get from like a cider, but like. 
with the oh. beer taste, if that makes sense. I think so. I think I'm. I mean, I wouldn't call it a sour either, though, right? No, it's like fruity in some ways, or no? Yeah, it's like it, it has some some fruity taste to it, but it's like smooth and crisp. So like mm. kind of like a kind of like a cider, but but beer like the beer taste. You could tell yeah, it's a beer. It's yeah. not like a like a cider has a specific taste. What about you? How's yeah. how's your Yingling? What 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 notes are you getting? Oh man, well this is amber. You are definitely feeling more of the some malt mm-hmm. into it. Because like, like darker notes for like the malt, but can I say like I feel like this might not be sponsored by Yingling, but I have to say that this has to be the most blandest ember lager ever, I think I ever had. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're like fine. They're not, not really fine. You just can't get into it because <laughs> no. they would never understand. I mean, you have to be truthful. I feel like I feel like that's like oh, yeah. what we need to be. Uh, but like, I don't know. It just feels like. Had other embers, I feel like this light beer anger, uh, ember. I don't know. It feels like when it's, when you say go down smoothly, you feel like what do you do? You feel like because to me right now it doesn't feel like it tastes that much. It feels very light taste ember. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's light. I think going down smoothly is just like you know how IPAs have that like aftertaste. I guess there's not much of an yeah. aftertaste. I, I guess that's kind yeah, of a, so. a way to think about it. I think for me, the aftertaste right now is just like a, like just malt in my okay. mouth. Yeah. I almost, you know, and it's crazy because like apparently Yingling is like the oldest American brewing company. That's crazy. Like from 1862, I think it's, it was, it was called like, it was like, it was, no, no, 1829, 1829 was when they it was like the oldest operating brewing company, and it's crazy. And I don't know. I think I like it. I think it's it, it works great for college parties. I think it is. I think it cost me. I think eight bucks for six, six pack. pack. For mine was like eleven ninety nine or twelve ninety nine. I think. So I guess it's more. It's more on the cheaper side, probably. Yeah. And it's like what? How much? How much percentage is this? I think it's four point something. My Pretty mine sure. is four point five. Four point five. Light, light little four point five. I also found out while reading the 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 label, label that it is brewed by Guinness, so I'm a little salty. Why they get that? I kind of like tell you otherwise. <laughs> no, I just I I feel like I feel like this is false advertising. The Smithwicks Yo, and he... Sons Ireland, yeah. but it's brewed by Guinness. I mean, to be fair, like Guinness is Irish, though, right? No, yeah, they are. I think next month, like, next episode, I might have to get some Guinnesses. I think it's long yeah, overdue. Yeah. I, th- I, th- I think it's kind of similar to like when you went, when, whenever you read the Corona label, you you see something like uh, brewed by the Bodello Company or something like that. Yeah. And I don't know the history yet for that right now, but it is kind of like I think just brew like brands get brewed sometimes in similar companies. Like you know. know Similar countries, I guess. When I say similar, same country. But I think for me, it's just like I like the Yingling. I think it works great for introducing people to beer. I think if you don't like a Corona, let's say, or IPA, I think start with the Yingling. I think it's a first tasting nice. It it goes down tastes, but you do have the malt aftertaste. And stuff like that. I think I would give it right now a six. Six? Six. Six bald eagles out of ten. I think for mine, so I think the last last week I think I gave it a seven or did I give it an eight? What does that matter? Because <laughs> I'm trying to think I, relative to this because I don't think I like this one more true. than the one that I had last week. So I'm you leaning towards like seven. a five or a six, but I don't like I don't like giving it a five or a six because it's not bad. I think I just well, it's not my like style of beer. If that makes sense. Yeah, I have a question though: Is five the average or seven the average? So I think five would be five out of ten. So five out of ten for me would be like it's a solid beer. You know, the more you go up, the better it gets. I think yeah. I, I think I'd give it a five. Five point five. 
I think it's in between a five, 5 and a 6. 5.5. Um, You're amazing. What's an Irish thing? 5.5. 5. Clovers. I don't know. 5.5. 5 clovers. Irish. Oh, clovers, yeah. I thought you said hungover. I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, hungover. Five, no, five no, clovers no, you know, out of 10. No, 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 it's going to be five hangover, the DVD in the movie. Oh. <laughs> and it, <laughs> I just, I'm already picturing it yeah. in the video. But, um, movies. You got to gotta get on the movie grind, bro. I've been grinding my movies away. Um, I know. It, I, I've been missing the movies. The thing is, like, I've not been able to drive myself to the movies. I know, but now, they, now you're back in the motherland, you could do the ritual. Uh, well, who? I mean, um, Sour's gonna be there for a bit. Pad run? Oh. Pat, no, you could do a Pad run. You could do it with. White Claw. Yeah, White Claw. Uh, what's his name? I don't know what his name is, actually. Uh, Mescal. Mescal? I don't know who Mescal is. That's okay. But yeah, are, movies. Are we faking the same person? I don't think so. But yeah, movies. You should watch movies. You, you could just say the name. Oh. <laughs> uh, it's okay. All right. I mean, yeah, I want I, I want to probably go watch movies. I probably I didn't actually think this week I've been just re acclimating with my family and all that stuff. It just Fair. been just you know getting home, and I'm gonna have to mute that. <laughs> um, seeing my nephew, seeing family. Um, last weekend I, I, I we walked the. The Walk of Rivers. Nice. <laughs> and I got home, pray my mother. Yeah, in English, kind of tired, but I don't know. My mother? Um, I've never heard that for tired. I mean, something my different in Puerto Rican. What does it mean, Puerto Rican? My mother. Do you know what mamar man. means? Suck, right? Yeah, so my mother's like sucked. <laughs> I don't know. I, 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 with my perception, I always thought it was tired or like, he's like, sick of my mother, man. He's like, <laughs> I guess I, I'm sucked. I guess I get it. I, I get like you, you know, energy is sucked out of you. Like I could see that, but like, maybe that's what it means. Okay, I think to me, the the first thing that comes to my mind is something else. <laughs> I guess so, um, but um, no, yeah, it, it, it's apparently it was. Uh, oh, should I say the the team name? With the, oh, the motherland. You can, yeah. You too. Yeah, okay. There's like a hockey thing. And you know how it is in downtown. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's like something hockey happens. Downtown lit, lit, lits up with yeah. a bunch of people with like jerseys and stuff. I remember because I and, think, I think when we were doing the graduation stuff, I think there was hockey stuff happening too. So it was super yeah. hectic. Yeah, that's like, we tell them, that's, I wish we had like a graduation cele celebration, like officially, yeah? yeah, together or like, yeah. You know, we I actually feel, did. I feel some. like it just for me it was just so quick because like we graduated. It was. Then I went on the cruise, and then I had to move. Yeah, for you it was yeah, because it, yeah it sucks because like yeah you you literally right away like, you usually happens like that right away then. Graduation gift and then moving for your job. Yeah. Uh, so I had a lot of time for my, but then when, when I graduated, like there was a pandemic. So yeah, yeah. everything was kind of that, frozen there. Yeah, but that was wild. I still yeah, think was, about that every once in a while. And I'm like, it's crazy that we just, we just vibe through COVID. Yeah, that's part of history now. You know, 20 years from now. Maybe they'll be talked about as like Black Plague or something like that. It's like the missing year, yeah, you know, for some people. Uh, was some it people. Thousand year void. Thousand year <laughs> void. I don't remember. That's a year. No, it's a century. For the void century. Yeah, yeah. So that was in thousand. <laughs> God, I did not. Well, oh man, that's crazy. We both both love One Piece. One Piece. Man. One piece. <laughs> is, it, is it gonna segue into anime? All right, new new arc starts with a new beer, new friends. <laughs> we, arc is a very 
ample choice of words, but yeah, because like a certain amount of a certain type of people will know what that means. Um, can you tell me what, what kind of people that would be stout? People of culture. Culture. Oh, that's a weird <laughs> way to say that. Uh, uh, it's a, talking about anime. It's, it's anime. Yeah, like we, we we're both into anime. We're like. We've been watching anime. Well, I've been watching anime since I think since I was in Venezuela. Actually, oh, you've been you've definitely wanted. been watching it more than me. I started I, in like I, like, college, the, beginning of college. The thing is, for me, yeah, I definitely watched it before high school, before middle school, because like we, me and my brother, we watch it in the true motherland. <laughs> oh, uh, I guess. So, um, because like, the thing is, in in Latin countries, it's actually I feel like it's way more readily available to people. In because I was in my country till I was nine, and before then, there was an anime channel on the TV, really, literally, and I can remember watching. I'm pretty sure with that I watched Full Metal Alchemist was was in that channel. And I almost want to say Naruto and Full Metal Alchemist and One Piece were, I think, probably the three first animes I watched in that channel and stuff like that. I think that was like before 2007. It was crazy. Crazy time to be alive, huh? I think in, <laughs> I think in the U.S. there was Cartoon Network did Toonami in the night. But I, I don't know. I feel yeah. like they only had Pokemon. They had Naruto. Dragon Ball. Yeah. I don't think they had as much of a variety. I didn't watch I it that much, Dragon so Ball. I I don't know. Maybe maybe they did, but I feel like when I would see it, that's that's usually what I would see on. Dragon was crazy. Like I think Dragon was everybody's almost everybody's first anime. I think like Dragon Ball is like the one well, the gateway drugs into the anime thing. I don't know because like, because you you hear rap. Rap artists like talk about Goku stuff. It's the most pop, like pop culture one, I think. Like out of the big yeah. three, I think it's the most widely accepted. <laughs> this depends on what big, you consider a big three, though. Big. That's a that's another controversial topic. Do you have a big three? To me, was always One Piece, Naruto, and Bleach. I feel like it's Bleach. Really... Yes, Bleach was the the thing when when, when the big three happened was when. Naruto, One Piece, and Bleach were the top three in the manga, oh, manga scene where they all came from. Like, the Shonen Jump, Sh- like go, like Dragon Ball technically was out, like was like was not producing any chapters. It was still it just on the air. GT was a thing, I think, and that's when you know the big trick came to be like and a while ago. Bleach ended in like 20, 2014, exactly. 2013. But you, you say big, the thing you're saying big three because fucking Drunk Bull came out of nowhere and just got re- resurrected. Fucking super for, was crazy. Yeah, with the movies and stuff. I don't know. It, I was dear you're probably in more my Puritan heart. than me. More in, I don't know. Like maybe. Mainstream. The thing movie. is, crazy. The thing, is, yeah, like the thing is, like everyone starts with a shonen stuff ish, kind of right. Like, who do you remember your first anime? I think my first one that I watched was Naruto, and then Dragon Ball, and then One Piece, and then I don't think it was like order. completely like in that order because there were smaller ones in between. So like, I think I watched Dragon Ball, and then I watched most of Tokyo Ghoul. Tokyo Ghoul is like I must want to say like Tokyo Ghoul was the Attack on Titan. Yeah. Before Attack on Titan. It was it was really like, good. The first season the first couple of seasons, I don't remember how many seasons there were, but when they got to Re, it was just weird. Whenever they just like pretty much went off off of the manga. But I started with those. Eventually. And then after I watched Naruto, I started watching Dragon Ball and then my coworkers at the, the card center at where we went to mm-hmm. college, they they watched a lot of anime, so they introduced me to Dragon Ball. I started watching um you know, all the mainstream ones, My Hero. Um, My Hero is controversial, too. Yeah, I don't watch any of them anymore. The only animes that I still watch are One Piece. Um, and then the ones that I guess are 
waiting for the new seasons. I was watching uh, Spy Family. Uh, what's it called? Spy what's the Chainsaw Man? All of, like a lot Maybe of like the popular Kaisen. ones, but yeah, JJK. But I dropped My Hero and Demon Slayer because I read Demon Slayer and I didn't really like the manga too much. And the thing is, Demon Slayer to me is like very much. You watch it for the spectacle. I yeah, it's, like. it's 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 like you have to appreciate the animation. Like the manga, it, the yeah. story was, it, the story was not. I don't think this like the the anime would be as good as it was. It was just like, you know, like standard animation. The animation it, made it, it such a like. It's I like, don't know. Like it's a powerhouse. It's just, it is a powerhouse. Uh, I'm trying to remember who is the studio. I'm pretty sure I want to say Madhouse. No. I don't know. Studios like that. Demon Slayer. I gotta try. I want. Oh, it might be Uf- Ufotable. I think. And uh, I think. And I think that's like the the studio that did it. Mm-hmm. Pretty sure. I'm trying to Ufot. I knew it's Ufotable. Um, Ufotable is a very big studio where like they only t- they never take like serialized like shonen. They only do like. Do you know the Face State Night? Um, uh, animes, the fates. No. Well, like they're very much like they put all their budgets in animation. Oh, okay, okay. Let me see. The sound effects is heavy. You can hear they use a lot of heavy metal sound effects for like, especially for like, you know, hit metal hitting each other. So you thought it was a very respected studio. So yeah, they took on Demon Slayer and literally. Put all their money into it, because the thing is, it is with the whole uh, breath styles, right? Mm-hmm. You could definitely see it as such a spectacle uh, manga, and in and translate into an anime, right? Because it's just like some of the panels; it literally was it's just them with a the breath style mm-hmm. in the page, just going crazy, and it, it, it makes sense. They're, they're just like make they make them to a spectacle. Because, yeah, uh, they must say it felt like, I don't know, it, after after season one, it, and I guess the first movie, it just feels like a th- this pace just got picked up way too quickly. Yeah, I think that's my, what, I think, my, my I think that's my biggest thing is there's just not much character development. It's just like straight action and like Tanjiro is just broken. And I think that's like a I new do, gen, yeah, yeah. that's like a new gen anime yeah. thing where like. They're not as long. They don't like have to build up as much. It's not as much no. story, but or like world building and character development. They're you still know, the ones think... that do it, but like I don't know. Yeah, you're not wrong because like because because if we think about like because my hero academia, I don't know if it's a spoiler, but like <sighs> my hero academia is in this final arc in the manga right now, and it might be ending. Like I don't I don't know when, but like maybe next year it might be ending. I might have to read and that then Black. Cl- Black Clover is also in its final arc. It might be ending next year as well. Didn't Black Clover have Those... like a hiatus in the anime though? What wasn't there like something like that? Yeah, so essentially it stopped right before its second to last arc, and then right now it's in, in its final arc right now. Okay. And Black Clover, oh my god, All right. Black Clover of the new generation. I think to me that's one of my dear heart in my dear in my heart because i don't know i think it started out bad with the voice actor of of the guy being he started started with that anime like he's like it was first time being in a major uh role mm-hmm. and he was in the direction they were given to him is like you need to scream a lot you need to scream a lot so it's so like he was screaming for the first episode, it, it was very annoying, and I, I don't know. The thing is, it's some some animes are very tied to the studios that they get. Yeah, yeah. Uh, some studios do it differently. Doing the whole, some studios take on a lot of projects and just spend limited budget on each of them just to churn out a lot of product. Because the thing is with anime uh, stout is that um, in Japan it's by seasonal, right? It's like they, there are like 20, 40 animes almost 
being produced every three months be released every three months it's crazy in in a year yeah it's it's like it there's so much anime being produced every every three months i think every three months that's a quarter right it's every three months they're churning out forty anime. You would like that thing. It's crazy because like there's some studios that will never take anything serialized, like One Piece or Black Clover. Because Black Black Clover used to be serialized, mm-hmm. like like meaning it, it, they they're expecting an episode every week. Yeah, yeah. And that shit or Pokemon. Pokemon is a serialized and like anime too. Speaking of Pokemon. It's what are, oh, we, yeah, do- what are we doing the fucking Nuzlocke? I want to. Uh, I'm, I I guess to give anybody, everyone an update, I'm getting my new computer tomorrow. It's getting here, and I'm going to set it up, and I mm. want to do this Nuzlocke with you, Stout. Yeah, let's do some gaming Stout stuff. Liar. Oh, dude, we should, we should have commissioned a whole like layout for it, too. Yeah? Because... Cause, Cause we should do that, and then we can like you know record on both our mar- like either machines like our gameplay, so we can all like show in one layout. Cause that's what I want. I want, I want, I want the viewer to be able to see my screen and your screen. I think I don't know. I'm just afraid with my laptop that it would look bad running all of it together. Mm-hmm. So let's try to do it. I want to do it. Either do that or maybe we do Overwatch. <laughs> uh, Overwatch by daylight. We got a lot of options. Yeah, you know, yeah. It's like there's a lot of plans for this channel. You know, uh, a let lot us of know. Let us know in the comments what you want to see. Which any topics you want to hear? What your favorite anime any... is? Want to hear it all? Yeah, I want to hear it all. Yeah, what? It's like, what's your favorite anime right now? If that's a lower question. That's a that's a that's a hard question. So I think I think. To be fair, I feel like there's like one answer for it, but okay. <laughs> no, I mean, I feel like One Piece is the most... I've obviously put the most time and I'm the most invested in. But one that I recently watched was Haikyuu. And I really, really liked that one. Why you watched it? Yeah, I watched Haikyuu a bit ago. It was like a year ago. Damn. Not a year ago. Uh, a couple Damn. months ago. Ha- Haikyuu is actually a special deal in my heart, man. Yeah, Haikyuu is fire. But I think One Piece is the overall like number one like number one like no questions asked but there's definitely different ones that like tickle your fancy you know like yeah there's like like, there's like it there's that's like my go-to depending on my vibe though like if i want to just like chill and like some goofy shit you know iq is funny if i want to just like true just vibe and like I don't know, there's different things, right? So like Spy Family recently yeah. was like really homey, and it's just like it's really homey. It's yeah, just, it's like a slice of life. Like it's just chill, it's it's like life, a chill. Yeah. You just chill and watch. So there's like a lot of different good stuff, but yeah, I think One Piece probably would be my top overall. What about you? Definitely One Piece. <laughs> I think the thing is to be fair. The favorite question or the question of favorite anime, it is like a like. It's bullshit. We because there's no one thing. Uh, I just say f- right now, Haikyuu is definitely my favorite sports anime. I feel like I I do it more categorized by the genres, right? Mm-hmm. Haikyuu is definitely big sports anime. I feel like it's one of those anime that's besides Slam Dunk that like was it's very grounded in in it because because sports anime is a lot a lot of a lot of um, anime is shown in nice. Like, like they, they give them special moves, special powers. Um, you say that Blue Lock like, does that? Uh, Blue Lock kind of does it. I'll be honest. Blue Lock does it. Yes, but Blue Lock is actually fun. Blue Lock is dumb fun, where it is about like put making them. Making people more selfish and more angry with each other in the most fun way possible. Interesting. Also, in the gayest way possible, too, I'll be honest. Because Blue Lock, <laughs> Blue Lock <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> they literally get to a point where all they talk about is uh, to get better, they need to devour the other person. 
That's word for word what they said. I'm going to devour you, borrow. And I'm like, oh, yeah? <laughs> You're going to devour them? You're going to eat them up? <laughs> um, it, it is. The thing is, it is it's a delegation uh, with it. it. But, like, it is funny that way. But Haikyuu is my favorite one. I think Black Clover right now of the new gen not gonna lie, it's kind of my favorite. I mean, though, like, I don't know, Chainsaw Man, something. I think Chainsaw Man is like in a different category, and so on. I don't think that's shown in. Yeah, Chainsaw Man is goaded though. Yeah, have you been keeping up with the manga? Yeah, the last the chapter was part. so funny, bro. <laughs> the last, the <laughs> last chapter. Ah, uh, what up, sex? <laughs> he's, just, he's a fucking menace. I, I, I think that's really refreshing. I don't know. I don't really read much of like. I don't know, the mangas that I read, I feel like, don't have that sense of, like, humor and that sense of, like, adult content site, like, esque, you know? Because, like, they don't care at all. It's not, I, like, some, it's not some... like, a, like, porn or, like, you know, it's not like that to that extent, but, like, they talk about topics that typically aren't talked about. I think, I think, in some ways, there's a true shonen, because, like, shonen is, like, young boys, right? Mm-hmm. And I think it is speak to the what really young boys think. Like, yeah. I don't know, because cause the thing is, Shonen Jump, they masked that by doing gratuitous, weird fan service stuff. Mm-hmm. But Chainsaw Man tells us how it is. Tells you, like, this is a boy, this is like a high school boy who did not, who grew up poor, who grew up without any of this stuff. Well, we have out, you know, a teacher. Of course, he's got to think this way. <laughs> I think. I feel like this is a shonen trope, though. Like, they go through, like, some insane tragedy or they just have no family. I mean, yeah. Most I mean, of the time, it's just like. <laughs> I think, well, 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 technically, well, Bleach will be almost be the close one to, like, sane because he has. His, he grew up with. He grew up 16 years with his dad and his two sisters, you know, normal. Um. Japanese, you know, place. Mm-hmm. His his mom died, but uh, that's I feel like the more the most normal. And I guess Deku, like from my hero academia, I think that's also a very normal way. Yeah, he's he just, just like normal. he just grew up being persecuted, <laughs> pretty much, and then he got roasted for, for being a baby boy. Essentially, I don't know. Anime is cool though. Like I think. Anime brushes things that uh, American cartoons are not, are just discovering, I think. Dude, I have not watched American cartoons since, like... Spongebob? No, honestly, like, I don't know. I feel like the new shit that's coming out is weird. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know. Well, we're, we're, we're thinking cartoon, we're thinking about, like, Disney Channel, Nickelodeon? Uh, I think Cartoon Network. Network. Cartoon Network, low-key. I mean, were you into Adventure Time when it was coming out? Yeah, I liked Adventure Time. I liked Chowder. I liked oh, Flapjack. Did you ever watch Flapjacks? Flapjack was that was insane. weird, but it was insane. it kind of slapped. It kind of slapped. <laughs> it's it slapped, but show it to any parent. I'm pretty sure they would have canceled that shit faster than it actually yeah, but like, did. Yeah, <laughs> you know, Adventure Time, like stuff like that. I feel like the stuff that that's coming out now, like, is just weird. I mean, the thing, I, I know what I'm, even I'm like, aware like gumballs, of. Even like Gumballs, you ever watch Gumballs? Gumball, yeah, I, 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 I'm aware of it. It's it's like the stuff that happens in there has me tripping sometimes. I'm like, what the hell is going on? They have a lot of references Gumball. too. Like they have like, like I think they did like a, like anime references in it too. Probably. I mean, the thing is, the people who are working on this, on those are the ones who grew up, that grew up with BHS of animes. That's fair. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. it's just like it is kind of like. It's, it's kind of like with, it's kind of like that, yeah. It's crazy. So but speaking, like, speaking of all these pop pop culture topics, which, yeah. What you've been gaming yeah. on? Is there anything you're looking forward to gaming on your new PC? I don't know. I want to play Spider Man. Maybe. <laughs> Spider Man's fun. Spider Man's like apparently the benchmark for all new setups. Because I've been watching some of those videos. Is, the OG whenever or the, the Miles Morales one? 
Uh, both, I guess. Either They're one. They're both fire. I played them both. I would definitely recommend them. Well, like, either one is, like, the the specs. I, I say it. Like a good the, testing. Yeah, benchmark chain. Like, it's, like, it's either that, then Call of Duty or something like that, or then Roblox. What the hell? Don't play Roblox. <laughs> Some some people are like, <laughs> or some or Roblox is not like the demanding. It's just like the minimum to play Roblox. And they show like they show the new games game style playing Roblox, then something else, and then Spider Man is like the the peak of what you need. And apparently that's what you need <laughs> to to get to play Spider Man. So I'm I'm excited. Uh, for gaming, like, what was your? Do you remember what, what was your first gaming, like, experience ever? My first gaming experience ever. Oof. So I think I got a Wii. I think my first console was a Wii. No oh, I way. Had, I had a Nintendo. I had a Nintendo. I'm capping. N- Nintendo what? Nintendo DS, like the oh, OG okay. ones, not like the 3DS or all the new shit. Um. Yeah, I guess we really did grow up in that. Actually. I don't remember what my first game was though, because I got like a bunch of random games. I remember there was a point where I was pretty like obsessed with like the dog games. I had some of the dog games. I think I had like one of the Mario Kart. Um, Nintendo Pets. Yeah, Nintendo Pets. I had Mario Kart. Yeah. <laughs> I played like a bunch of random games on DS, and then when I got I, from there, I went to a Wii, and on Wii I had, you know, the Wii obviously Wii Sports. I had Smash Bros. Brawl. Brawl, yeah, bro. I had that was fun. One of the Mario's, and then Dark from there I went party. to Xbox, and then I just played Call of Duty and sports games. When you say X- Xbox, uh, Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty. Correct, yeah. I didn't get a, I didn't have an original Xbox. Okay, no, oh, dude. I think I feel both. Well, well actually, the thing is, I what? I also had a PlayStation Two. Why you had a PlayStation Two? <laughs> I think I had a PlayStation Two before I had a Wii. I mean, that would make sense in timeline. I, think like, I don't know. I don't know what time. I don't know, man. I'm fucking old. So long ago. I don't remember. You're not old, man. You're like 24. Yeah, bro. But I've had PlayStation some 2. People... And PlayStation 2, I had Guitar Hero. I had some Guitar Watercross Hero. games. I had some oh, yeah? BMX games. I had Pac-Man, SSX, the snowboarding game. I had a bunch of games. <sighs> well, you had a lot of sports games. Yeah, they were fun. I mean, it probably was fun. I, me and my brother, we had, like, the place, the original PlayStation, like, at our place. I think he got for his birthday, and I got to play with it. And then there was also, we also had a Super Nintendo. SNES. And our, SNES, yeah. Let's go. And, like, I remember playing the big games that I was playing in those games, I'm trying to remember, was Crash Bandicoot. Crash Go Hard. For the place. Yeah, I remember, I, 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 I the main one was we had the third one, and that was fun. And it was like a platformer, three D platformer ish kind of game. And then like for the SNES, I remember playing uh, the Aladdin game. <laughs> for the <laughs> SNES, yeah. And it was like, it, oh, it was so fun. It was like a platform. It was a platformer too. It's just like you go, you go through the Aladdin game, uh, Aladdin story. Yeah. While playing it and stuff like that, it was really fun. Uh, we also had this claymation fighting game. I don't remember what it's what it's called, but it was like it was such a claymation animation, and it's a fighter game. It's like it's like a, like a you know, you you pick a character and they fight each other. And after that, we we mainly essentially just started getting Game Boy advances mm-hmm. or Game Boy, the, the, you know, the Game Boys and the Nintendo DSs. And for with those, we were just essentially playing Pokemon. Yeah, I was gonna say it sounds like Pokemon era. Yeah, Pokemon. We, we we started with Pokemon. My brother apparently had Pokemon Gold, but he 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 lost it, or someone stole it apparently from his school, according to him. And so I never really got to play that. We had Crystal, then we then we had like Ruby and Sapphire on the Game Boy, Emerald, and then. And then we and then we essentially just got all the games from there until game, generation five, because then at that point my brother just got stopped, <laughs> stop stop liking Pokemon at that point after gen, uh, generation five it became too 
Kitty for him. And after that, we we got the PlayStation 3 in 2008, I think. And then that's where we got Uncharted and Ratchet and Clank. And so, like, okay. like you went Xbox. We, I, we, me and my brother went on the PlayStation. I feel like I went, I went yeah. everywhere because I had, I had the PS2, then I well, went to Nintendo, and we. Well, that's true. You went to PS2, Xbox, yeah. and then from Xbox, I stayed at Xbox until recently when I built my PC. That's true, and then, yeah, now, now we all just love uh, PC gaming, really. Because, because I don't know, it became like a thing where it's like. Why buy a whole new console when just get your setup to be good and you can get any game? Yeah, and low-key, I was looking. So I bought recently a game that I started playing was Dead Island 2. came out last Friday. But on Dead Xbox, Island, yeah. it was uh, it was 89. Or it was like 70, 69? No, 69, I think, for the 69. base game. Nice. And it was nice. on the PC, it was 59 for the base game. So it's a $10 difference. Yeah, on top of having that. to get like uh, Xbox Gold or PlayStation Plus to play with that's online. true. That too. That that's also a thing where like, mm-hmm. we just have to pay for our Wi Fi pretty much directly. It's booty cheeks. With, with PlayStation, you have to pay Wi Fi and I don't know and plus our gold. Mm-hmm. It is Oops. bullshit. Not a fan. And, I mean, it, it is what it is because like I guess it didn't feel so bad when you were a kid because you were not the one playing. Paying for the Wi-Fi, you know, your parents are the ones paying for the Wi-Fi, mm-hmm. and you just like have to like convince them of getting you that plus or gold membership, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. And it becomes like I think gaming became it's going to go into that cloud, you know, cloud computing like services, cloud subscriptions. It's already gone pretty much digital. My my yeah, Xbox digital. is not. Um, I don't have a disc version. <sighs> Go away for your Xbox. I mean, like my the my the new Xbox that I bought is doesn't have a disc slot. It's all digital. Wow. Yep. Essentially. And oh, I, like I, yeah. So going that way. The thing is, I think it really is a jump though from console gaming into like PC gaming because it's like it becomes like less part, less like living room friendly, or it becomes like. You're not gaming in in a couch. You're going to game in like a you know desk chair, you know all this stuff. And it, the thing I think there'll always be a need for console gaming, but maybe that will be always be Nintendo's forte though, yeah, rather than PlayStation or Xbox. Yeah, because like I don't think I don't think I don't know. I don't think people are going to... I think my brother's one of the only people that are, are still gaming, like, you know, gaming console. Oh, no, he, he, just got his, he just got his gaming setup. He's still going to be playing PS5 games. Yeah, so I'm kind of stuck in between. Because, like, so for Dead Island, the reason I bought it on my Xbox is because they don't have crossplay. <laughs> they don't, okay. They don't have crossplay between, like, PC and Xbox. So I wanted to play with one of my friends that plays on Xbox, so I bought it on PC. Or on Xbox, but I feel like you know I have I have a Call of Duty on Xbox, but I also have like Cyberpunk on my PC, Dead Island, and a bunch a bunch of other stuff. <laughs> or not Dead Island, sorry, Dead by Daylight. Dead by Daylight. Like, <laughs> I have different games on different things, and then yeah, has been playing this new game called Bug Snacks. I don't know if you've heard of it, but it's weird as fuck. You know what? I was saying that on your Discord, and I'm like, what the fuck is? Yeah, that? she's been playing Bug Snacks, and I'm like, what the hell is this, bro? What is that? I have no clue. I was so looking it up. All- <laughs> so, I mean, she might listen to this, so I'm not going to say too much. Because I was looking it up and I saw some stuff about... No, say it. Well, no, but I don't want to spoil it for her. Yeah, that's but, true. Okay, um, go for it. It's like uh, she's catching bugs and she's eating foods. Like She's talking about hot sauce, ranch. She's catching bugs and eating them. I'm like, what the hell is that game? Is this, is this like she downloaded from like... An- from the xbox or yeah it's from the xbox store i have store? a game pass so she she got it for free god damn it's weird look into it it's a it's an interesting game and you'll see what i was talking by, about by the way you didn't uh say sour 
Yeah, I know. I was thinking. I was trying to figure out. I was trying to. I was thinking. I was like, hmm, I don't remember what I said, but I don't think I said that. Um, that's crazy. Because right? like, like, because before more that, more work for me. Yeah. It was. Damn man. The thing that sucks, like, whenever I actually yawn, is when I'm speaking. That's when it happens. <laughs> I'm not weak but, like um, that. I don't know. I don't know. You don't, you don't fucking yawn that much? No. Why not? Because I'm is weak. A, it's, a perfect, it's a perfectly acceptable body function. <laughs> Just like burping. That's <laughs> true. No, it's not. But, um... That's crazy though. Yeah, I mean, right now I'm, I'm, I'm the thing is before this computer, I've been, I just been stuck with my laptop, so I just been playing Overwatch. Dead by Daylight, I guess now I'm, I'm playing it more with Stout. Before I was kind of scared of it, it and then Fall Guys, Fall Guys was like, Fall Guys are OG, bro. Fall Guys is fun because like I don't know, Fall Guys is just like dead brain, almost. I don't know. Yeah, especially it became, when you play little drinking games about it. Hell yeah, dude. We were just like, we were doing it. It's a little if rough, you... though, because I just, I just be making you drink. <laughs> no, you weren't. I'm making you drink. Psych. Let's run it back. Let's run it back then after this. We'll have to run it back. <laughs> um, it would just be like the, the the game of the rules. I don't know if I should explain it now, but I'll give you a sneak peek of maybe someday we're going to do Fall Guys in the channel. But like, we were doing it like um, if you make it if both make it if you did it after the other guy if you're the last person in the group you have to take a sip if you get eliminated you have to be do a big shrug chug it's a third rule that i want to implement i don't think we did it that much but like i think i, I think it's so funny that if the person that makes it makes it another round without you you have to do a chug or you have to sip for it. Mm-hmm. I think that's a. I think that's fair because like the, the person is like freaking going, freaking like he's it's like taking names while you're just w- watching him. You know, so I feel like you should also drink. So yeah. that's kind of like the game. The game we do it with. Uh, Overwatch, we never did like a drinking game, right? Yeah, I think Overwatch we just kind of swept. We just we just sweat and then get sweat. <laughs> yeah, I just get tight because I suck. Uh, dude, everyone sucks in Overwatch, man. You do you do you sign a new character? No, nah, I haven't played Overwatch since probably the last time we played. <laughs> nah, we literally I bring you back. Would you would you play when you're not playing with me, man? Cyberpunk. I was in no life in Cyberpunk for a bit, and then right, I was playing yeah. um, Dead by Daylight play a little bit, and I don't really. I don't know what else. You, do you play Cyberpunk with a story or like with like the online? No, it's a story so, game. So, story game, right? All story. I played. I did a first my first playthrough, and then I went through again recently and did another playthrough. Yeah. So there's like both sexes. So I did a female playthrough and a male playthrough. There's some romances yeah. and stuff. It's pretty cool. I gave you a question here. Huh. When you when when there's a game where you can pick the sex of the, your character, do you pick the guy or the girl first? Typically, I pick guy. For Cyberpunk, I picked the girl first. Yeah, but I for, was gonna do both playthroughs. For girl first, why why girl first? I don't know. I just picked her. Cause it's kind of fun. Cause like, I know a creator who always he says that he always picks girl. As a sex of his character, because the way he sees it is like he watches her do stuff, or like not do stuff, but like she he rather like if if I'm gonna watch his character do all this stuff, I'd rather be a girl. Yeah, mm-hmm. so like he doesn't see it as I want to be the I'm like he's not be the person he's he's not the character doing it. He likes. To watch this girl doing it instead, so it, it kind of comes to like w- interesting where like how people choose their genders. It's like either they want to be the, that character or they just want to watch that character do that stuff. 
Do you feel that way? I don't know. I, I think I just decided to go with the female. I don't think it was because I wanted to watch them. Well, not in, like in that weird way. It's just like, mm-hmm. I guess, I guess it's, it's like, if I'm going to look at this for, for a long time, mm-hmm. I'd rather be a girl than a, a guy. Yeah. Right? I guess that's what his mentality was. I can see that. Yeah. But I mean, I, I eventually I was planning on doing both playthroughs. So I think it was just I just picked the girl first. How different is it though? Um, so there's genders. four different romance options, two for uh, female and two for male. Thing, yeah. So that's the only main difference. You there's ever like played different... the mass. What? Never. No, go for. Oh, this is. Have you ever played? Have you ever played the Mass Effect games? I have not. It is similar like that. We're like, depending on the gender, really all it changes is like who you can romance. Interesting. Yeah. Which is wait, I have a question. When you're a girl, can you romance other girls? Yes. Okay, that's good. That's great for them. Because in the, the Mass Cyberpunk Effect, is pretty progressive. Pretty open, progressive. Okay. I, I'm pretty sure in the Mass Effect. Correct me if I'm wrong. Like letter me or in the comments. Like I'm pretty sure you can only romance the guys if you're a girl. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's like how it was. I don't think you could romance the girls. As, I don't know, maybe you can. You know what? I don't think you can romance guys as guys. I think you can romance girls as girls. So that's messed up. <laughs> it's kind of messed up. I think I think it was really harping on like you know without wanting that. But <laughs> games will be games, man. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. Well, that was our episode three of Stout and Lager. Thanks for joining us on this wonderful journey of beer and good conversations yeah. we're gonna be signing yeah. off for now and let us know let us know in the comments you know you leave a like subscribe let us know what you want to see you know we're thinking of doing some gaming videos so if you guys have any um preferences between fall guys dead by daylight or nuzlocke like we were talking about let us know yeah i want i want i want to like shepherd style to be in our nuzlocke videos because it's kind of like on the on the younger side of <laughs> Pokemon. <laughs> so yeah, let us know. Um, I'm looking forward to it. And thank you so much for listening. Uh, Style and Lager signing off. Yeah. Bye guys. Whoop.